Hi, I'm Cinda Howard with Fly Fish Arizona and Beyond. I'm a guide and a fly casting instructor. And we're here today to teach you a basic cast on how to cast a fly rod. First, I'm going to start with how do I hold a fly rod? And your fly rod has this cork handle, and in that handle is a little low spot. That low spot is made for the meaty part of your thumb just to rest there, and then my thumb just goes on top. Our goal is to move this rod in a straight line so that the line goes out straight. So I want to move my arm in a straight line path. You know, you could visualize that as the rod tip moving across an imaginary ceiling and never touching the walls. We just need to pivot at the elbow and just lift our arm. And I want to stop about my ear. This is much like answering a telephone. Not much wrist movement at all. Most of your cast is just with that, that elbow. And you don't want to reach. You want to keep that rod nice and low, hand about the ear, so that you're able to move that rod tip in that straight line to get that line to go out straight and turn over. Other things that are happening is I'm making a crisp stop on the back and the forward cast. That stop transfers the energy from the rod to the line. So I stop here and here. The last thing I'm doing is I'm letting the line straighten out behind me. And when it does, the rod bends. And if I can make this rod bend, I can make a cast. The majority of the technology in your fly rod comes in the bend. So I let the line straighten out behind me before I come forward. If you're getting a lot of knots and tangles while you're casting, most of the time it's because you're a little too fast like so and that line never straightens out and it just creates a big bird's nest. So the goal is everything straightens out and then we come forward. So what we are trying to accomplish is we're trying to cast this line in what we call a tight loop. And the loop means it's the shape of the fly line in the air. I want the top and bottom part of that line to be close together. And that's what straightens out and delivers that fly to the water. You only want about this much space between your wrist and your arm and your rod. If you have more than that, then you're going to be casting with your wrist and there's going to be way too much arc. We just had a little breeze that started blowing straight at us and I want to show you what happens if I move the rod tip straight and I get that nice tight loop that we had described and what happens in this wind with an arc. So first I'm going to throw a tight loop where I'm going to cast straight into this wind and you can notice that everything straightens out and goes forward. Now if I cast with that arc, which means I add too much wrist in this wind, this line just blows right back at me and doesn't have any energy, doesn't have any power. It doesn't want to go anywhere. So that's the importance of making sure that that rod tip moves straight and that line goes out straight and we have a tight loop versus having that arc that just blows around in the wind. So when I'm fishing this, I just strip the line in through my hand and then I cast it back out and let line slide on the forward cast only. The rest of the time I'm holding the line tight with my line hand and then I'm just letting it slide out on the forward cast. So when we make this cast, the rod tip's moving straight, I'm making a nice tight loop, arm not wrist, make that final stop, follow it to the water, and that's pretty much a basic cast on how to cast a fly rod.